everyone welcome back to another youtube video in this video we are going to exploit our target means we are going to hack our targets before we jump into our actual uh demo i'll like to throw one disclaimer that this is going to be an educational video you don't want to use it as a uh threat or attack to any other environment you're going to be committing a crime and that's going to be only your responsibility so all right so in this uh exploit we are going to use one tool and that is metasploit tool and you can google that tool online what is metasploit and how that works there are many modules in that tool that you can leverage to have your targets and exploited now how do we use it since you see my screen now this is my Kali Linux box and I do have video if you're following along. I do have video created for Color Linux and you can use that. So, and also I'll share the link in, in the video as well. Now, how, how you can use Metasploit target, uh, Metasploit tool. The first thing you need to do is you need to load the tool. So this is a simple command, M, sorry, msf console, and it's going to start loading the tool. So when Metasploit is loaded, you will see this, uh, this terminal. MSF6, this is our Metasploit uh, console that we can use to exploit our target. So what we are going to do, we are going to uh, use the vulnerabilities. If you recall in our last video that we used OpenMS to find the vulnerabilities in our uh, web server that was in our environment. So we are going to leverage that vulnerability to exploit our target. So what was that uh, vulnerability? There was for there were two vulnerabilities in the in that environment. So SSH in that that was uh, SSN protocol, and the other one was Apache server. So we are going to use SSH vulnerability uh, to exploit our target. So the first thing you need you need to do is you need to use that module. So how do you use that module? Let's first search for the module that we have inside Metasploit to exploit our target. So we'll use command search and then SSH login, I believe. Yeah, it's going to search all the, all the modules related to SSH. Now we are going to use this module. So what you need to do is we you need to just, you know, say use. And if you check the number over here, we have two numbers zero and one and we're going to leverage ssh module exploit for ssh login so i'll use ssh underscore login it's going to load the module inside metasploit console all right uh we can oh it, it throws some error so we need to use the for a zero module so we're going to use the number for the module so i'll do use zero and it's going to load the module inside metasploit so now you can see that we have this module that's loaded. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to leverage this vulnerability using this exploit module uh, to hack the target. So what we're going to do is we are going to first, uh, we are going to first set our target. So how we set our targets, this is the command set our hosts and the IP of the target. If you remember, this was the IP for my web server. So I'm going to, load my target to to this console so you see it says that our host is loaded now we need to use the brute force uh, password file to target our host so what is that file that file is um is under metasploit framework wireless and this is the this is the path of that file and this is how we're going to load the to load the file as well so set uh user underscore pass no it's user pass underscore file i believe yeah then user share metasploit framework data then word and then root i believe yes root user pass dot txt so this is the path of our brute force file so what is the brute force uh, attack you can you can google it you'll find all the information regarding the brute force so in a short word brute force is a it's a way of attacking a user's credential so that we can use multiple or i would say uh, many combination of different password 
protect uh, a user to log in. So this is a file where I, I have all the users and the password uh, to, to attack this host. So what we did three steps. First, we find the module, we loaded the module, we loaded the host to the module, and then we are going to uh, set a user file to attack the host. So let's click on that and let's see what it's gonna do. So now the user file is also loaded. Now we need to just do simple a uh, run. Let's try run. Now it's going to run this module on this host. Means we are trying to use this meta exploit to run the exploit on our target. So this is going to take some time. I'm going to take some pause and we'll be right back. All right. So our brute forcing has completed. So let's let's read out what it says. So we ran the uh, brute forcing and it says that brute force is starting. And this is the uh, this is the user that it used. And this is my password that I put to test this. And this is a user ID and everything. When we get this sort of information and all the completed with success means we have established our connection with the user. Now we need to use that session to interact with the with the with our target host, uh, with our target host like this one. So we can we can run this command sessions hyphen i and the number one session that we just established from this host to our target host. So we need to press enter and it says that command is stronger because I put uh, more extra acid in here. Now the session is started. Right now we are on our target machine. For example, if we say host name, you would see this is our SS media. This is my web server. If I do your name hyphen I or A, it's going to show. So, okay, this is a Linux server. That's my Linux server. This is a name and this is the version and everything on that. And then if we run some more command, for example, um, we can check ID, who's the user that we logged in with. You remember? This, this was the user that it cracked, or I would say hacked, to log into our target system. So right now, we have successfully hacked our target system, and we are in the system. Now we can do anything that we want to do. So for example, if we want to check uh, system CTL status HTTPD, it's going to show us the HTTPD server. So for example, I mean, if I was a hacker and I want to bring this business down that's running on this service, I should be able to do this way. So this HTTPD server service is a Apache servers that used to run the web service on. So this is the web server. So for example, if ethical hacker and I want to bring this website down, I would just use system CTL, CTL stop and, um, then HTTPD. It says that fail to stop the interactive action because I am logged in with my test user. If I had a privileged user like root, I should be able to do that. So let's run the command again. System CTL at this on this service HTTPD and it's running. So yeah, so Technically, you got the idea that, you know, how, how we can uh, exploit our target and how we can hack our target. This is the way that, you know, hacker used. This is one of the ways the hacker used to, to you know, target the whatever they want to do. And they it, at the end of the day, they're trying to hurt the business. It, it could be a business or there can be many reasons, right? They want to just get some ransom paid to them and all of those things. So... In this video series, what we did, we went through all the uh, phases of this, um, you know, hacking process. And today we performed the actual hacking on the host that we could perform. So I hope you like the video. And this is the end of this series. Uh, from next year, we'll have different sort of uh, uh, topic that we're going to discuss in, in upcoming videos. So thanks for watching the video i hope you like it uh please let me know if you have any questions or concern and also I'll have my link in the video that you can use to watch around all right thank you very much have a good day